Hosty and Naria, there's Druid against right. Warlock. Hosty picking his Zoo deck as a first pick against oh, Naria's yeah. Druid. Look at that draw from Druid. Is that after the Mulligan? That's awful. Mm, yeah, this is post Mulligan. This is not what you want to see right now if you're Naria. Uh, you don't oh, want wow. to see that. Zoo will just overrun you in foot. Oh, okay. It's no, not... no, it was pre Mulligan. What am I talking about? Okay, okay never mind. This is a people. much more bearable hand. Never mind. Yeah. So I thought I'd seen him throw you. cards in. Ah, still no ramp My though. Greetings. My greetings. I love this. Sea I giant. hope this is the implosion, Sea Giant. That's well, been around the ladder a lot. Yep. Why would you use Sea Giant with the implosion? It just make ah, it was used. Uh, it was used before implosion came out in Zoo sometimes. Yeah, I, I mean now. I've, yeah, now it is. There's no way. Yeah. No I, to... I have experimented a lot with this shit, C Giant when Hunted Creeper was introduced into the game, but still, I yeah. it's too in inconsistent back there uh, in, in, you know. No, I could, I could understand totally. Like, it's definitely not the most consistent. It was not the most consistent way to approach it. Yeah. Echoing use. But no. the, I think you use the Golem here. Right? I mean, the opponent will probably be doing his. Uh... Oh no, he, he, he brought the Grove next turn. You're just gonna coin out the ooze and prepare for an implosion turn four now that he top decked it. Alright. So Druid here. Keep of the Groving, probably the Direwolf Alpha to reduce some of the damage output that's gonna be coming out. It's not so. one of the best Druid matchups, you, quite frankly. You can't really play the Druid of the Claw in hard mode where when there's a Direwolf and two creatures that can just you know, no, drain it off. Oh, two damage, that's not that. My that's not the outcome you wanted to map. Yeah, and there's no swipe at least here for Hosty, because otherwise that would be even worse than it already looks. Um, but there's still so, going to be two imps okay. down. Do you... No, you can't play uh, the giant here. No, you can't, but you could go for the Harvest Golem play. Uh, second, oh. second use, okay, that's interesting. Alright. You trade the imp for the keeper or just go face? I think you trade, right? You haven't seen a swipe, so you could keep it if you wanted, but it's gonna die to hero power, so you might as well just throw it away and make sure that it's not gonna trade up with something with two health. So yeah, mm -hmm. definitely trading that one one away for two one makes sense. So now, oh, oh! wait, okay, that's 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 nothing important right now. Uh, it's gonna be somewhat relevant, but like over the course of the next two turns, this will be very important here. That swipe actually will allow Nairia some a little bit more breathing room here. No matter what comes down. So how do you deal with You've got to be you've got to be afraid here if you're uh Nairia. If you expect sea giants to come out, this is as good a turn as any. Because your Drew the Clock can die to the board right now. Yeah. Very interesting thing that um Nairia killed so the Echoing Goose that was right to the other Echoing Goose. That's a very good uh, placement now for him. Just because the second Die Wolf Alpha won't be able to pump both Echoing Gooses here. That's true, actually. And now, actually, Hosty deciding not to play the Sea Giant, doesn't want to go all in on the possible big game Hunter, probably, or the Swipe plus Yeti trade. Wants to make sure that his board is somewhat protected before he pumps it out. Second Wrath, well, that is a really crucial pickup. Yeah, he got it last turn, and uh, the Black Knight also going to finish out the Dire Wolf Alpha here. Um, defanging Hosty's aggression. Um, this is... So, this is turned around. This is not a turn... Yeah, this is not what you want to be doing as a zoo right now. Your opponent's on 26 health on turn 7. Not at all the position you want to be in. Now, you lose the Sea Giant, which is probably not the biggest loss. But the swipe here. The swipe. He was able to play the Giant, or he wasn't. He he wasn't he was able this turn I think um, not this turn sorry because too many things died on the previous turn. Okay, I was just oh. thinking. Well. No, All right, this so... might be game. <laughs> Doctor Boom sealing the deal here. Well, it's, it's not over yet. Uh, there's still I mean the thing is swipe and savage war will guarantee that if the board doesn't get traded okay. into by uh, host he definitely he'll be in How lethal range ten times over. How is that over when your opponent's 27. You can deal 8 to face, but then your opponent just can play Savage Roar and, deal. and swipe. Yeah, never mind. He can kill you instantly if you go Even face. Even if he trades, it doesn't matter. Yeah. 
so <laughs> funny times. Wow. Yeah. Host knows and what's just coming. leaving. Yeah, he knows what's gonna be. And uh, Hosty picking up his hunter deck right now. Man, there he has got his wild growth in hand already. Something he will definitely keep. <laughs> there is no reason for him to throw that card ever. Yep. Ah, host TV stays with Dr. Boom in his starting hand. That's wants to make sure wants to make sure that he's gonna get it out. Maybe feels like it's a mandatory play. Uh, at any given point, he wants to have it as an option. Cause if he doesn't draw it, then this could go wrong. Would he keep a seven hymen also in his hand? I'm starting to wonder. I was gonna ask you if you thought uh, if he keeps boom, does he keep Savannah? We'd have to ask him. Yeah, I'll ask him afterwards. I'm really curious about this. Ooh, Rav the Web Star is really bad. He goes for the kill to get. Oh, yeah, sucks. I thought he was it's going. I thought, I thought he was going to Wrath. Um, I thought the Wrath was a bit of an awkward play there. It was just like around the. Around the snake trap, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Huffer is not a good option here. It's actually the worst case scenario. It's the first time you're not friend. happy to see Sir Piggy. So, Sir Piggy goes down, and your explosive trap looking pretty dead. So, you're gonna have to silver back Patriarch to, to make sure that the explosive trap doesn't get triggered for no reason at all. Yep. But Swipe is uh, a deadly card here if Nairia has it. And, uh, huh? would you play it? I don't think is you'll it? play it. You can just play. Wow, Naria calls the well played already. Naria just said well played. Why? What does he say well played? I don't know because he thought he might have been bluffing Snake Trap or. Well, he he checked for that in the, was the first web smear. So I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm just not. Why did he say well played? Because the game is over or? Is that elaborate BM Excellent or BM? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's. I don't know what to think. Scavenging Hyena of the Westerner here allows for an interesting uh, Unleash the Hounds, <laughs> oh, wow. actually. Wow, oh, that's very nice, and one keeper was already being played. Yeah, I mean, Swipe will take care of the board, but, you know, if there were no Swipes, then... And the Shade of Nag... Oh, wow, this is... This is crushing. Yeah, there's a reason you kept Dr. Boom. There's no... It... There's a warrior here, there's a crush. <laughs> Okay. And the innervate Yeti here. No. The pressure coming from the Druid is actually higher than the pressure coming from the Hunter. And he's not the aggressive deck. Yep. Having to kill Command Shade of Max Ramos here, put down a freezing trap to return the Yeti just to stall the aggression a little bit to get out his own Dr. Boom. But Ancient of. Double Ancient of Lord, this is really important now. Would you even wait with the uh, with the attack? Oh, I think I would. I want to get back the Ancient of Lore instead of the Yeti. Um, you might as well trigger it now before Bo comes out on the option that he does have one. So doing so, make oh, sure yeah. that you're going to be uh, to be fine. I mean, he's got the second Ancient of Lore in hand, really. He's huh. not too worried. Look at this. Another Dr. Boom um, synergy. Knife Juggler. Yeah, Knife Juggler and Dr. Boom. Turn 9, deal 3 damage. Oh, he plays Harrison Jones, actually. Okay. Three points of damage straight to the face of the droid under the tree. And second innovate, will it make any changes here? Ooh, wow! Four points of damage to the face. Now, I wonder if this will be really important this game. I don't think so. Yeah, I really don't think it will matter all that much. I mean, right now, there's still a taunt to go through. Um, if you're hosting. So you have to waste... Quote unquote, waste seven damage. Oh, oh, oh the jungle oh. hit. Now, the second jungle hit is not really important, important, but yeah, the that first, first one was hit. really, really important. That now he's gonna have to play Force of Nature to actually wipe the boy and clean it up a bit. It's going to kill the juggler, the Misha, and uh, that's the wipe. So, from future left. Everything's, yeah, the, the mad scientist is gonna stick around, but really, what are you gonna do with two damage every turn? But you're, you're getting low. You're yeah, Savannah low. High Main could be a really good top deck here for Hosty. Yep, oh, no, no, that's not no. it. Now, this is a huge throw. No, it's not. 
Oi, amazing draw. No, that's definitely not gonna help. And the sludge belcher going to seal um, in the worst case scenario. Yeah, the boom is better here, but sludge belcher you, will seal the, the board next you're turn. You're certain you will not die next turn because you are at 14 points of damage, 12 with the lead scientist attack. And what can the warrior do with one card? It's what is the most Death optimistic wing. outcome with Death damage? Wing. One <laughs> card. The most you're gonna get is a Deathwing, and you're not gonna get a Deathwing. Yeah. Oh! No, like, there's... Oh, never mind. Oh, Scenarius. Savage Roar? No. Um, well, you do use the bombs to trade, right, first? You will kill one minion, so you can kill... Honestly, you can science? double trade with the bombs and hope that one of the minions dies, and then you can ancient of lore yourself if you feel like it, or just drop yeah. a sludge belt or Harrison Jones. It really ultimately does not matter too much, because there's very little aggression that the oh, he plays the belcher just going. to increase the chances of the bomb. I know what I was saying. Never mind. No, no, he's just gonna try to get the mad scientist to die. Maybe trigger a trap uh, with the second bomb if the mad scientist dies. Yeah. Well, doesn't even do that, just face, face, face. What is he going to do, that's really? That's a trap, but that's this the point. game. That's the game. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's no lethal just hey, yet. Oh, actually, yeah, it is, there is. Never mind. Scenarius does take the win. Yep. Why the growth turn 10? At least it comes in handy in turn 10, but doesn't really matter. That's 9, 10, uh, 12. Oh, there's a trap. Okay. There's you do not trap. know what that trap is, uh, but scenarios guarantees that everything you've got lives anyway. Yeah, so it's lethal. And so, uh, is it freezing trap? No, no, it's not lethal guaranteed. It is not a, le a guaranteed lethal. Um, it's just very close to it. Depending on what the trap is. If it's explosive, you automatically win. If it's freezing, you have to wait yeah. one turn, but you're yeah. still winning. Exactly. Exactly. So the only way here for... Uh, Hey, is there even a way here? Oh, why? No, it's not gonna do it. <laughs> you can't, you oh, can't win with one draw. Oh, you can been. use explosive shots to the face and hero power. Covers are buffing minions can be really valuable, and you don't have to wait so much when other card games have so much removal, and uh, harvesting the, the creatures are actually so sticky, you will have more targets for, for such buff cards. So. Yep. I will draw my first opinion about this card. It's really playable, and it's nice to see a uh, rogue buff in this expansion because I, I felt that it was like left behind with GVG. Yeah, it, it really felt left behind to me, and I, I still feel that way a little bit, but Tinker's Sharp Soul was arguably one of my favorite cards, and uh, Hosty did have his rogue left over. Unfortunately, Naria has the wild growth in her face. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> um, it's fine though. It's okay. Okay. Well, uh, Hosty also has an amazing hand. So let's be let's be fair here. Both players yeah. have a great hand. So, and Hosty has the coin, which is really also important. Too. Yeah. As a rogue, having the coin increases your win rate by a thousand hundred thirty-seven point one percent. So win always, as I trust. Pretty much, yeah. That, that's what that's what I've learned in mathematics class. So based on the, what we're looking at here, he could decide to go for a sketchy wild growth innervate play, but I don't think he needs any more mana at this point. No, he didn't play the innervate just because of the sacks that can happen. Yeah, it, if you if you play into innervate and you get stopped with a sap, you're gonna regret it totally. You're gonna yeah. be pushed back for an entire turn. You want to use the, uh, the innervate for ancient of lords. Yep. Uh, oh, the low type is going to be very important here for Naria sometime down the line. It's going to be very interesting. Now he's going to play around the Tinker's Sharp Sword, or just going face and try to get the combo out as soon as possible. Face. But he doesn't have any any part of the combo. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, okay, so as I7 Agent number two with a dagger on the four four here, going to kill the, the he other trade, minion from the. Can we trade his face with that? I don't think so. Oh wow. Yep, he does. Okay. Well, it seems risky at this point of the game because he's getting low uh, with 18 points, but it's still far away with the combo, and we know that um, that Neria has no parts of the combo yet. Yeah. But he has an innervate, so if he draws the combo parts in the upcoming two turns, he can combo the whole thing. Uh, at turn 8. 
and then just draw and just swipe and finish the game. But that yeah. requires a lot of luck. And the unlock of all of there's a swipe. Uh, but Anoyatron... The thing is, I feel like Anoyatron here would have been better kept um, as a starter combo for the Tinker's Sharp Sword Oil. That's how or, I feel about it right now because he's got uh, no setup at the moment. Maybe he, he, uh, he could even, uh, even kept the Anoyatron for a turn just before... Combo. The combo, yeah. Just try to make sure that Anoyatron is going to get the value that he wants out of it. Right now, well, his so only play is the... Uh, yeah. Two creatures on board. I mean, there's an Ancient of Lore and a Lotha in Benaria's hand. That, all that yeah. takes is... It, it just takes one turn here to get a few cards that are... Oh, double Tinker Sharp Sword in the Hostie's deck. That's a you lot expect of the first one, but nobody expects it. Oh, this is... there's a shade. Will he use the innervate? Oh yeah, he will. He, he oh, definitely. Yeah. So he will now use the, uh, the shade. He needs to top deck a combo starter for that Tinker Sharp Sword. The best top deck here is preparation by a long shot, and he gets it! <laughs> is wow. this game almost? Is this game dagger up for two, you prep one, you get the other for four, That's you get a weapon? That's each. a good so, game, ladies and well, gentlemen. Yeah, that's 19 points of damage. 20 points of damage! This that's is incredible. good game! Wow. Yeah, he's counting the damage. He will get to the conclusion. Yeah, it's lethal. Let's go for it. This is it. Dagger, prep, tinkers, tinkers. And the game is over. Yep. Wow. Naria went highly aggressively here against Hostie's face, and it didn't work out at all. Nice. <laughs> wow, the 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 one top deck that rules them all. That was that was absolutely crushing. Hosty is real doing a nice lot of work. Set. <laughs> oh wow. wow. That preparation, okay. ladies and gentlemen. Here's OTK Warrior um, is gonna try to go up against Hosty's deck. Mm -hmm. His weapons can make generally short work of what's on the board further That's from true. the rogue. But he does need to get those weapons the very early. Yeah, you're right. I agree with you. Um, this well, is a bit problematic here for the warrior. You have that death spike, which will be really important. Yep, and the, the rogue decides to dagger up instead of putting out the mech warper alone, uh, knowing that if the warrior does have the fiery war axe, it's going to be just a dead card. So you want to wait until you can get at least a little bit of value out of it. Mm hmm. Which is exactly what's going to be happening. Um, maybe do you just play the Harvest Golem alone, or do you redagger? I think you redagger. If you if you stick to the plan that you don't want to play the Mech Warper. Mm -hmm. You have a nice turn four as well. Mech Warper into Harvest into turn five Azure Drake. That yeah. can be very interesting. And whenever you get a prep, you can just throw out a sprint. Sure, that seems nice. Um, unfortunately, no, right, is. Is is kind of problematic part because it, it yeah he has to eviscerate it all the time yeah. here. So you won't be sticking to your plan playing the uh, harvest golem. Oh wait, my my screen just froze. Oh shit, what's happened? All right, well I'm still I'm still watching the game, so I'll just uh, pick up the conversation uh -huh. now. So I, I think Azure Drake, uh, you have to play the card just because if you don't, you're gonna waste weapon charges away from your face. Which means there's less triggers for the Raging Worgen at the moment. Okay, I'm back. The higher Archer. Oh, there's a Shield Slam coming from the Warrior here. Nairi has actually got a really well-built OTK deck. Um, this list is highly functional. I'm actually impressed with just how good it's been doing. And right now, Hosty's trying to be, you know, he's playing a tempo deck very heavily with some combo into it. Like, aggressive tempo. Um, mm -hmm. But Nairia's deck is doing a lot better at controlling the board. And Temple is try it should be trying to do that. And right now, even though you know backstab and eviscerate are net tempo gains, in this specific case, it's not helping at all. Split. No, that's yep. nice. You will get a combo for the as for I said, the agent. Yes. Ah, all right. The warrior's got a brawl though. If the board gets a bit too uh, too scary here, the set is kind of useless. This, this type of deck, but still, you got a lot of. That warrior, can be used against the Acolyte of Pain. But if you stab the Acolyte of Pain, the warrior has to replay. He will still draw from it, so that's really not an issue. Do you, fill, do you fill up his hand and troll him a little bit? <laughs> do you just like attack, so. the, attack the minion and then set up an Arcane Null of Fire and stab the Acolyte? How many cards do you have? Yeah, yeah, He's got eight. eight. Uh, it's not gonna work. You'd yeah, have to attack get... it twice, so... 
Well, then he will burn one card. I, I think that's that might be even a good outcome. You think? Yeah, I, I mean, think so. his deck is so reliant on getting specific combos. So I could done, I could see what you mean as uh, being a valid I, play. But how do you deal one one twice? All you've got well, are two no, damage. You deal one. You got dagger. Just think for one with dagger and attack with whatever. Then he, he draws two cards. I did not do that. I decided to go for the face with a deadly poison, setting up a blade flurry at the moment. And the brawl comes out, Nerea realizing this is a pretty hairy situation. Doesn't want to get overwhelmed with minions. And uh, Harvest Golem stays up. Oh, Unfortunately, wow. this is the one sticky minion that he wouldn't have mind losing. Ah, the double arcane nullifier, though. How does Nerea go through that? Hmm. He's got a death bite. So that's definitely going to help. What are the other options here? The last card is a card of pain, I think, right? Um, yeah, but the last card might be a card of pain. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think I think here he just goes and plays everything he's got. Let Try to get board. just warping everything. The board state here. Yeah, there it is, warping the board one mech at a time. Wow! Oh wow! That's a lot of damage. <laughs> If he gets a Tinker Sharp Sword Oil, this could work very well. There is no second Brawl in Nerea's hand right now. Uh, we don't even know he's playing two Brawls. I don't even so... know that he is, but there is not There's not a second one for sure, 100%. So he do you trigger... over... I think he triggered the weapon with the second weapon. He does a second weapon? No, he does not. Okay, he can. He does not. He does not. If he did, he would be fine, but right now that's not the case. And right now on the board, there is a total of what? Five, six, seven... There's a whirlwind, at least that. Yeah, yeah, he can wipe most of the board with uh, with his hand right now. Hosty had to go all in though, because if he's just one or two turns away from OTKing you. You have no chance. Another sprint! Hmm, two sprints. Oh, so he doesn't play any kind of other card draw source, I think. Another sprint? Tanker Master, okay. So he and will this have. This could still work. If the Harvest Golem lives, the, sec the token yeah. from the Harvest Golem. Yeah. Th this could be just enough to do it. He has the OTK in hand, however, that oh, is not wow. going to be Yeah. The OTK is coming. Well played. Double inner rage charge. That'll cut it. So, three, two, one. For this Nerea, deck from Nyria, I am loving this for tournament play. This is absolutely amazing. It's just showing just how strong Combo Warrior still is. To think that it used to give charge... Uh, for, for zero, zero mana, yeah, like it was. <laughs> with the attack, it was really much stronger than it is now. Yeah, for zero mana and you know not giving two attacks, it didn't really help. I, it it just made ah. so many cars OTK you. Whereas right now, Raging Morgan is the most.